morning Sandy here um, I'm gonna make this video it's not my usual scrapbooking and glue book videos um, a lot of people might not find it interesting but I'm making this for myself um, we had a roof leak right up here and I just replaced like ha half a sheet of drywall right there um, I did this myself I think it turned out pretty well I just now put in the light, put the light fixture back in. We had a, I got the roof fixed and, and I did the drywall myself. Um, this is our addition that we put on 10 years ago and I'm a hoarder. <laughs> and I built all of these shelves. There's this side with my cat collection with the over 600 pieces. And I had to clear out these two entire sections here and then this is my book side and I had to clear out those two sections um, and we'll get to that uh, I have so many books these are my gothic romance up here I have to stack them like this and I write the author and the name of the, the title of the book on the sides um, so I don't get to see the spines of them very often or anything and I'm going to document all of my books. I, co I collect a lot of books. A lot of this, like Stephen King, I have every one of his books. And I like to see them all lined up on the shelf together. Um, these are um, Nancy Drew and Hardy Boys books I'm reading. Um, these are some later paperback Nancy Drew and Hardy Boys I'm going to read. These are books that I... I'm going to read. I read a lot of James Patterson and there's more Nancy, Nancy Drew and Hardy Boys. Um, these are a lot of gothic romance that I have not read yet. Um, these are my cats and I'm ready to dust these shelves. It's been almost a year and they got a little messy with the little construction project. These are my scrapbooks. Yeah, there's, I think I'm getting close to a hundred. So, uh, this is one area of my family room. And then, this is our family office. My, my daughter's corner. My brother lives with us. That's his area. This is my corner. It's not, well, it's not bad. It's, it's not, I didn't clean it up for my video. And this is my husband's corner. I did have my scrapbooking supplies in this corner too. This was my scrapbooking office area. But I moved to my scrapbooking room uh, last May, about five months ago. And I'm loving it. And then I also have this hall. I designed this to hold a lot of things. I have like, actually I have like a thousand cats and like 600 Avon bottles down this hall. I'll give you a very quick look. It's kind of dark. It's early in the morning. But these are Avon. And these, this is my daughter's book collection. And I've read a lot of those too. Um, and then this is my family room. It's a mess. <laughs> we, we have snacks at this table. I Sometimes I spread out and do my scrapbooking at this table. We have games and, and puzzles in the cabinets, which we hardly ever do. And this is our family room corner. But meanwhile, <laughs> with my project, this is my sunroom. And it has turned into the dump room, I'm telling you. This is some of my cats. They got, they got to go back in the room. Um, these are all of my books <laughs> yeah and they're gonna go back in the room and there's more of my cats and they gotta go back in the room and I got some stuffed cats that go on the top shelf and also I've been collecting things that I wanna donate to the thrift shop these boxes um, and those boxes and I'm gonna try to get to the um, thrift shop this weekend and donate that stuff and get it out of here I want to clean up this room, um, but still, this room has turned into the dump room and all the extra furniture lands in here, um, but I'm going to get it cleaned up. 
Um, and then look at these chairs. I've had this dining room set for 25 years and I, I love it, love it. And over the years we've had a few dogs come and go. We keep them for life until they die. And it's it's got the round oak table with the feet, um, the claw feet, and the dogs have chewed it up over the years. And then um, the spindles down there on some of the chairs, they've chewed up some of them. So my set was looking pretty bad. So on the Facebook marketplace, I found an identical set um, for $125. So I went and got it and I, I put my table out on the curb and somebody took it and there was two chairs that were chewed up the worst I put those out and they took them um, and I didn't notice till I got home but the new set came with three chairs with arms instead of two there should be four regular chairs and two armchairs so I got an extra armchair but I don't need these chairs if I have company I can use them <laughs> although uh, there's already six there. I, I would need to uh, have a lot of company. Um, but I'm not going to part with these chairs and I don't know what I'm going to do with them. <laughs> um, but So they've been dumped in here. So when my video is done, this room will be tidied up. Not a deep cleaning, but tidied up and looking a lot better. Um, and my room will be all, f my shelf uh, hall will be all tidied up and um, my books will be put away and you'll see my my book collection I, I've got uh, James Patterson, Dean Koontz, um, lots of gothic romance um, Agatha Christie um, Stephen King um, my favorite authors um, so I'll show you all of my books and Hope you enjoyed my video and I was going to say this is Wednesday morning next week is Thanksgiving so this weekend is going to be busy um, I got to go to deliver some stuff to the thrift shop um, I got to do my shopping for Thanksgiving this is the weekend we always go and we usually hit at least two stores to hit the best sales um, Monday, I have to take my daughter to uh, Wayne State in Nebraska to visit the college, and that's just the first visit that we need to do. She's a senior in high school. Um, I'm going to try to get two of my Christmas trees unpacked and set up. You know, they're dismantled, and you got to put them together and and decorate them. But I like to get a head start on my decorating. I don't. I I believe in one holiday at a time. I don't put my decorations out until after Thanksgiving. But I have so much Christmas decorations. Um, it takes. <laughs> we spend an entire day, and sometimes a day and a half, setting up. So if I can get a head start and get my trees up which is not going to be in this video but I'm just explaining how busy I'm going to be so if I get, can get those up before Thanksgiving then that makes it easier because the day after Thanksgiving we pack up our Thanksgiving decorations which is not a lot not very much and then we we uh, set up all of our Christmas decorations and we have like 35 blow molds that we put in the front yard you know like Santa and, and snowman and the nativity scene and all that plus all the decorations in the house and there's a lot I have a giant a huge 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 Mickey Mouse collection uh, that do doesn't go on the tree I have a Mickey Mouse tree for the family room with all that's all decorated Mickey Mouse and um, well, I'm just rambling on I gotta get to work I have to get to work it's 5 30 in the morning well, it's 5.10. I have to start at 5.30. So, um, I'll be back later and I'm going to start, start putting away my books and stuff. So, we'll see you later. I started putting stuff back in my room. There's the scrapbooks, untouched. I dusted the top shelf. I have a collection of old cameras up there. And that box is, um, like 40 years, 30 years of, uh, negatives. <laughs> from photos and I got some stuffed cats up there can't see them too well 
Um, I haven't done anything to this shelf. I just dust off the exposed areas. I didn't move any books. Um, down here I have bags and uh, some empty three ring binders. And these are all photo frames. And this is um, the large portraits um, 9 by 13 something like that. They're large. They don't fit in my scrapbooks. Um, I have an old typewriter here. And the old-fashioned typewriter book like you would have in school. Um, I have a few puzzle books. I gotta focus. <laughs> Some antique books. Um, lots of magazines about collectibles. Um, country and Victorian magazines, deco country and Victorian decorating magazines, um, home repair magazines. Um, I have a book on how to build a deck and I actually did build a deck, wherever that is. <laughs> um, these are very old home home handyman books, uh, like from the 50s or 60s. They're very old. And I used to subscribe to Family Handyman back like 82 I saw the date on one of them and I bought bought several at thrift stores and stuff so that's all family handyman and home mechanics and I haven't looked at them in years but every 10 years or so I do flip through them and look at them and then these are just a bunch of interesting books like coffee table books and stuff um, just a lot of interesting books and then these are very old magazines. This is Family Circle from 1974. This one is from 1959. That's the year I was born. I don't think you got a good look at this one. Yep. Um, I've got a big stack of McCall's and, and um, Women's Home Companion. I did take one of them and I've been cutting it up to make glue books with. Um, and I have a lot of Bibles. This is my mom's Bible, and it wasn't very well taken care of. Um, and that's my Bible in a bag to take to church with me. This is, I have my grandmother's Bible, who, she was born in 1900 and died in, um, 1964. And she's got 12, she's one of 12 children. She's got all the birth dates and everything written in there. Um, and I made this tag to go with the Bible so that we always know that it's something special. Put a picture of my grandmother on it. So I got old Bibles there. Um, this is some genealogy stuff right here. And then I put my tags. Can't read them very well in this light. Maybe we this says Janet Ivanovich. I put my tags on my shelves because I got my own mini library here and I even fill the top shelf and like I said earlier they're going to have to be stacked like this because I have so many um, and I have these pieces of cardboard to divide um, the two layers on each shelf so let's go Okay, I have 12 John Saul books. I read these many years ago. I've been collecting books for about 35 years. Um, and I've read all of these. So I have 12 John Saul books. I've got it kind of at an angle because of the glare. I have 24 Judy Bloom books. Um, the four on the top are for adult. In the Unlikely Event is a brand new recent book. And I've read all of these. And then these are her teenage books. And then these are her children's books. And I've read them all. Oh, that glare is making things difficult for me. So that's Judy Blue. Okay, this is my collection of Dean Koontz books. 
I have, I think I counted 76 of them. And yes, I have read all of them um, in the last 30 years. <laughs> um, he wrote a five book series of Frankenstein and not the Frankenstein that you know it's another character called Frankenstein he wrote a eight book series on Odd Thomas and that's my favorite I love the Odd Thomas books they're they're funny and they're they're just good books and then he wrote a book about uh, his golden retriever uh, I think her name was Grace. No, I don't remember. Trixie. Trixie. He loves Golden Retrievers, Dean Koontz. And then he, um, this is his latest series, uh, the Jane Hawk series. I've, I've read the three of these so far. I wait for everything to come out in paperback. And then um, all the rest of them are just standalone books, not part of a series. But I've just read them all I just keep reading them <laughs> I have 20 Taylor Caldwell books um, I've read 19 of them and then I have this one off by itself I still need to read um, she has read written a lot more books than that but this is all I've collected um, Shulai writes a lot of long, detailed stories, and they all have little tiny print. It takes quite a while to read the books, um, but they're pretty good. And she does a lot of um, very religious books, like The Great Lion of God. That was a really good book about um, some saint. He was a doctor. Oh, no, no, it was... The Dear and Glorious Physician, that was another religious book. That was the good one. The Great Lion of God, that one was not good. Um, this was a, it was a very religious book, but um, he was very mad. At, um, he was a very bitter man, and it was hard to read that book. But anyway, there's my Taylor Caldwell books. Okay, here's my Janet Ivanovich collection. I have 60 of her books. Um, I found the, um, God, what's her name, Stace, Stephanie, Stephanie series, um, uh, there was a box of the first eight at a garage sale, and I asked the lady who was selling them, have you read these, she said, yeah, and they're kind of comedic, and, and they're good, I'd never read John Ivanovich, so I bought them, and I read them, and I loved them, <laughs> so I, I collected I collected all of the um, Stephanie series up to 24. I just finished that one. Um, 25 is out, but it's still in hardback. I'm waiting for the paperback. And then we got the Plum series. Um, yeah, that's Stephanie Plum, where Diesel comes and visits her. And then we got the Wicked Charms, and those are books about, the Wicked books, those are about Diesel and um, this other woman that he's solving mysteries with. And then she wrote a lot of romance books, uh, and she wrote, wrote the full, full series. There's five of, six of those. Um, and then she... Wrote Metro Girl and Motor Mouth. Barnaby. Barnaby, yeah. Okay. And then Curious Minds and Dangerous Minds. Those go together. And then this series, The Heist, The Chase, The Job, The Scam, and The Pursuit. Um, Fox and O'Hara series. Um, these three large ones, I ordered those used from um, Amazon. And it said paperback. <laughs> and I was disappointed. I don't really want the big ones. I, I just want regular small paperbacks because they take up less space. Um, I don't want Kindle books. I like to be able to... This is my collection of books. Look at my collection of books. And you can't do that with Kindle. Um, I, just, I just like to have them all together. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just a little weird that way. But that's what I like. So that's what I'm going to have. So that's my Janet Ivanovich. Okay, here's some more of my books. Um, I have eight Anne of Green Gables series. 
I love those. And then I have 10 Irma Bombeck. I, I love Irma Bombeck. I used to read her article in the paper every day, her column, and I just loved it. And when she passed away, I tell you what, I missed her so much. And then I got V.C. Andrews. Um, there's actually more V.C. Andrews books, but I read um, the Flowers in the Attic series and the Heaven series. And My Sweet Audrina, I think that's a book alone. Um, but I, I got kind of tired of those, and I never got any more of those. And then I loved watching Castle on TV. And um, Nathan Phelan did not write these books. Um, a guy named Straw, something Straw, actually wrote the books. Um, and there's actually a, another series. I can't think of what it's called. But some of them only came out in Kindle books. So I can't get them. I did have another one of them in, in a hardback maybe. But I, I just donated it because if I can't read the whole series, I don't want to read it. So there's some more of my books. I've got 32... Lillian Jackson Braun, the Cat Who series. Um, the last three are short stories. But the rest are, are um, about a cat who solves mysteries. He, um, a man has a cat, a Siamese cat, and he's a, who's a male, and he's also got a female. But the male cat solves these mysteries. Um, and I think there was another book released, and she, or, well, I think Lillian Jackson Braun has died. And there was another book about to be released, but it never got released. But I read all of these. I've got Carol Higgins, Mary Higgins Clark. I have 48 of her books. And her daughter, Carol Higgins Clark, I have 15 of her books. Uh, her, this is a Carol Higgins Clark wrote a series and, and it, all of them end in ED, decked, snagged, iced, twanged, fleeced, jinxed, popped, and so on. Um, uh, and it's all about um, a lady who's a, a detective, I think, and she solves crimes. Um, and then there's four, five Christmas books written together Mary Higgins Clark and Carol Higgins Clark. And then um, there's 40 right there, 40 of her books. And of course, Where Are the Children? That's a classic. That's one of the first ones I read. That was good. And A Stranger is Watching. That's a good one. Her first ones were her best. Um, a Cry in the Night. That was pretty good. They're, they're all pretty good. Um, and then lately she's been doing these. Um, these three. Um, it's about a woman who does a TV show where she call, solves old crimes. And then I bought this one. It said it's by Mary Higgins Clark. Well, actually it's edited with an introduction by Mary Higgins Clark. And it's a bunch of short stories, detective stories. It was pretty good. So that's my Mary Higgins Clark and Carol Higgins Clark collection. And here's my Agatha Christie collection. Um, I thought I had about 90 of them and I was surprised that I had 97. 97. Um, the first three rows, there, I think there's, there's like 37... I got 12 in a row. There's like the first three rows are all Hercule Perot, and I think the first one is um, Hercule Perot in the fourth row. And then I have about, I don't know, 15 um, uh, Miss Marple books. And then there's Tup Tommy and Tuppence. And then there's just, and there's some. Uh, uh, short stories collections um, I just have a lot of them and I have read every one of them and it was because of Agatha Christie that I discovered Amazon um, 
if you're trying to collect some books and you can't find them, you can find the list online, but you can't find the book, go look for it on Amazon and people sell used books. And they'll cost you they'll cost you about five or six dollars, including shipping, but but if if it's gonna complete your collection, it'll be worth it. And um Agatha Christie also wrote under the name of Mary West Maycott. I think there's six of them here. And I read all of those. They're not the mysteries like like the rest of her books. And then this is a, a biography by um, Kathleen Tynan. And then these two are an autobiography. This one is called um, Come Tell Me How You Live. Um... I think the first one, she wrote both of those. The first one is about her life, her childhood, and her marriage to um, Archie Christie. I think she has some children. And then later in life, she married a guy who's a archaeologist. And, and the second one is about her life with him and, and out on the archaeological digs. Then I found this Agatha Christie quiz book. And... I, I looked through the questions. I can't remember any of the answers. I can't remember all the details of all of those stories. And then this, The Spider's Web, that's fairly recent. It says adapted as a novel by Charles Osborne. So it's not written by Agatha Christie. She must have written a play or something, and he wrote it into a novel. So that's my Agatha Christie collection. I'm pretty proud of that. Some of these are very, very old, like from the 30s. And and this one actually is missing the cover. Some of them are kind of crumbly and old, but I don't care. And they're, th this is my collection, and I'm pretty proud of it. Here's my James Patterson's book. I have 75, and I have a lot more I want to get. Um, right now, I'm working on the Michael Bennett series. Um this top row there's eight that I finished and I'm working on number nine bullseye uh, Michael Bennett is a widow with ten children that him and his wife had adopted and he then he's out solving cases in New York City all the time um, he's like one of the top detectives and he don't spend much time with his kids and, he, and he's in love with his nanny okay and then Alex Cross um, I have 24, don't look at the first row, the second, third, and fourth row, there's three rows of eight, that's 24 Alex Cross. Um, I'm up to number, um, what number, 24, I think, uh, the latest one is out and I need to buy it, um, so, that's, <laughs> and then there's, um, the women's club murders it's about a lady detective in san francisco and she's got a friend who's a coroner and a friend who's a newspaper reporter and a friend who's a lawyer and they solve crimes together um and i'm up to these two rows here and all of those have a number in the title i'm up to 16 and yes i've read all of these except that one bullseye i'm working on that one and then these are the standalone books 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 15, 16. I've read those. And then when I finish my uh, bullseye, I'm going to start on NYPD, this NYPD series. Series. There's four here. I haven't read those yet. And then I've got these two, Murder House and Now You See Her. I've got to read those. And um, there's a lot more books to collect. That James Patterson, he just writes and writes and writes. But he's always got co-writers. He's got a lot of co-writers, so he's got a lot of help. But, man, he's got a lot of books, and I'm working on reading all of them. He's got a lot of children's series, too, and I'm not going to read those. But James Patterson, he's keeping me busy. And I only recently started him, reading him, like, two years ago. So, this is quite a bit. So, there's my James Patterson. Okay, this is an assortment of hard bond books. I try not to have too many of those. Um, I keep those on the top shelf. And yes, I've read them all. <laughs> um, my dad was raised by his, his two cousins. Um, 
on a farm and one of the cousins uh, was in a book club like in the 40s and um, a lot of these with the with the um, paper jackets um, he got those from the book club and they're old they're dry and brittle and crumbling um, from like the 40s and I've, I've read them all um, they're pretty good um, I've got Phyllis Stiller's housekeeping hints and she's funny and then I read It's Always Something by Gilda Radner because when, this is about when she was dry, dying of cancer and in the, she had alternative treatment because um, my first husband was dying of cancer at the time so I read the book um, same time next year I'm not going to go through all of these books um, I just love this book it's, it's really good um, and it, it was a movie too it, I think it was a stage play by uh, Bernard Slade well but it's good <laughs> I really enjoyed that book um, this book is really old Grace Harlow's Problem that's from like that's probably about a hundred years old and then um, this book I'm excited about Leonard and Gil Gertrude um, this says hope we can see it Bertha Warner August 1891 Bertha Warner is my grandmother's sister so this book means a lot to me uh, the cousins that collected the, these books with the um, book club that's their mother and um, so that's pretty much well that's most of my books and then one more thing we'll just run in here don't get dizzy um, it's shaping up the books the shelves are getting full um, so then I've got these two shelves of assorted books um, this is the fattest book I've ever read and ladies of the club and it was pretty good it's it's over a thousand pages and I've read Frankenstein by Mary Shelley um, I, I like to read true things like Helter Skelter and um, Patty Hearst and uh, I read about Jim Jones and Guyana and they drank the Kool-Aid um, Marley and me so that's my collection of books these were an assortment so I didn't photograph them but I'm going to enjoy looking at this video of my books and, and I hope you do too and leave in the comments what kind of books you like to read or if you read a lot of people don't read or much anymore so there's my books and I'm going to continue on with the putting all my cats back on the shelf and cleaning up the, that other room okay I'm back I got all of my books put away these were already here um, there's my miscellaneous books on these two shelves um, my some of my James Patterson books my Dean's Koontz book Dean Koontz Stephen King um, there's the James Patterson three stacks of Alex Cross two stacks of and two stacks of the um, women's murder club and then there's my um, hardbound, hard, hardbound books and my V.C. Andrews, Irma Bombach, Lillian Jackson Braun, Taylor Caldwell and Richard Castle on the top shelf Agatha Christie and Anne of Green Gables on this shelf Mary Higgins Clark and Carol Higgins Clark on that shelf um, Janet Ivanovich on this shelf and then my Dean Koontz and Stephen King overflow um, and I already showed you that and then it's so hard to <laughs> videotape in this small hallway but here's my cats all dusted and put away the first row these two these two rows were emptied out for repairing the ceiling
so I got all that put back and then th these two sections I one at a time took everything off the shelves and dusted the cats and dusted the shelf and got them all dusted and organized. This shelf looked really dirty next to the clean shelf. Um, so that's all done down here. These four boxes, the three three rosy boxes and this box and that box are full of greeting cards. I've been saving greeting cards for over 40 years. Birthday cards, Christmas card, every card anybody gives me. I save it. And it's very organized. Um, and this one is full of Christmas cards and it's overflowing into that bag, the white bag. And then the red bag is, is uh, new Christmas cards to send out. And I recently a few years ago I quit sending out cards. That I sent them off for almost 40 years and, and nobody does that anymore. So, hurt anybody. So, it's not a very good filming job, but my room is all done. And I moved that chair in here from the sunroom just because I don't have any place else to put it. And then we'll go into the sunroom. Got all the books out of here, and the cats, and all the boxes, and still got the extra chairs in here. It's pretty crowded, so we'll start here. Here's the door coming in. Um, this is my curio cabinet. Uh, that's one of the chairs. This is a vintage stove that I have. I can't get rid of any of this stuff. <laughs> um, this is my wicker settee with a chair and I have the there's a second chair in my craft room um, the, these three pieces of furniture are the reason I wanted to build this sunroom and I also have a, a antique bed back here it's full size and I used to have that set up in here but then when I brought the stove up I had to to put the get rid of the bed but, but we weren't using it anyway and the mattress was like 20 years old and, and it, someday I want my bed put back up in here because I do like to sleep out here with the windows open I've got glow in the dark stars on the ceiling I got clouds on the wallpaper it's 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 pretty nice um, so I've got two of those chairs over there one chair here because there's four up here and sadly <laughs> I put one up there out of the way. Uh, we'll, we'll get back to that. Um, so I rearranged my knickknacks on that. Um, and I've got this. I need to get the, the seat covers refinished. And some of the rick rack on the back my dogs have torn off. The dogs have destroyed this. I used to have it in front of the window in the living room and they were always on there um, and they even chewed up some of the carving I need to get this restored and um, I've made up my mind when my dogs die off I am not getting any more I'll be retired then and I'm gonna put this beautiful furniture back in my living room I just love it I got this this three-piece set at a garage sale for six hundred dollars about oh seven years ago maybe and it just couldn't hold up to the dogs. The chairs are in pretty good shape. Uh, they did get the corner of the chair. Um, but the chairs are in pretty good shape. And, and I've got this table. I found this table. I like I liked the carving on it. And, uh, but it didn't have a top. So I just put in a piece of plywood. And I broke up some rosy plates. I had a lot of them just cheap old and just cheap old plates and um, recovered the top with broken dishes um, and then uh, this is an antique table my I mentioned um, the books earlier that my dad's cousin had collected he also built this table in in shop class it's about a hundred years old now it, I'm not joking <laughs> it is and then I have this um, tr trunk down there I keep bedding in there extra bedding and I got this little teddy bear 
um, set here and I have this little doll in a stroller my aunt gave me that I don't think it's truly antique I'm sure it's not it's reproduction but it's pretty cute and then um, a couple years ago I bought a bunch of um, curtains and pillow shams and sheets and various things in rosy patterns and I there's 12 windows in here and I made three squares per window and so sew, sewed them together or is that four? No, oh, it's three and so I've got this this rosy um, valance going all the way around and then I, I love this um, I have some old cups and saucers here in this this is so pretty this one in the center my late husband's grandmother gave me uh, 40 years ago she gave it to me and at the time she said it was over a hundred years old see the little feet on the cup so that's one of my favorite things um, so uh, one more thing where is it here we go oops <laughs> this is flat on the back this is my only ladies head because when I do find them they're like forty or fifty dollars they're expensive um, it's flat on the back can't really see I don't think uh, it's from Sears and Roebuck and it cost a dollar <laughs> and it was my dad's mother's my grandmother's and her husband was a smoker and it was just all covered in brown goop when at when she passed away my dad told me to go see if there's anything I wanted and I took this and I washed it up and she turned out beautiful she, and I love roses and so I just love this so and I love roses and everything on here has roses on it well, I got to get to work, and thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Um,